This weekend, WRTV is partnering with the American Red Cross of Indiana for their Black History Month blood drive. Tonight, WRTV's Cornelius Hocker explains that this blood drive is especially important for those in the black community in order to help people with sickle cell disease. We need black donors to come out and give blood. It's a simple message. Hyacinth Rucker with the American Red Cross of Indiana hopes resonates with the black community here in central Indiana. Their upcoming blood drive at Martin University ties in with their sickle cell initiative, aiming to get more black donors to help people with the disease that primarily impacts the black community. It makes it to where the blood is a good match for someone that has sickle cell. People are out here donating blood for people like me to be able to be here today. Shatil Jordan has sickle cell disease and remembers the first time she needed a transfusion. I didn't have to have a blood transfusion until I was 21. No, a little bit before my 21st birthday when I had my son. If I didn't get it, that was the end of the road for me. I was going to see the Lord. The American Society of Hematology estimates between 70 to 100,000 Americans are living with sickle cell disease, with an unknown amount of people going undiagnosed. Common signs and symptoms of it include anemia, which causes a person to look pale, dark urine, yellow eyes, painful swelling of hands and feet, frequent pain episodes, stunted growth, and in the worst cases, stroke. There's no common cure for sickle cell disease, but blood transfusions are one of the best treatments available, which is why the American Red Cross of Indiana is encouraging more people to come and donate. I say donate, donate, donate if it's much needed. Cornelius Hawker, WRTV. The Black History Month Blood Drive is this Sunday, February 20th from 11 to 4 at Martin University. All who can donate are encouraged to go and give the gift of life.